We have the T238 Daybreak Tracing Unit. This is one of the newer models by T238. Uh, you guys know I run the blue can, the T238 blue can on my 416. Uh, this is gonna be an unboxing, the overview, my first impressions, and overall what I think. To be honest, I was, I'm was i super excited to run this. Like, so I'm, run, I'm super excited to run this on my pistol when I do pistol only gameplay. Uh, when I do like a uh, concealed carry gameplay, I'm excited to run this on my pistol as well. Uh, when I, and I'm also excited to run this on my AK because this is going to be semi-permanent on my AK so that I can have, you know, muzzle units on my AK, uh, on my uh, replicas. We're going to be uh, utilizing and testing a lot of T238 products um, as we have permission to do so. Um, what you're going to get, this video is going to be three parts, separate videos. So you're going to get this first video, unboxing, overview, impressions, maybe initial fitting on a pistol or something and then you're going to get follow-up gameplays a lot of them you know what i mean and then in a few months we'll come back with a you know it was three to six months we'll come back with a long-term review of performance evaluation of the daybreak trust me the t238 blue can uh there's a long-term performance evaluation of that uh coming up and scheduled and in the works for you guys for the blue can as well for you guys looking at that blue can training segment but the most exciting thing about this particular tracer unit as you can see on the box it has a chronograph in it so this is what the box looks like let's go ahead and swap this around carbon fiber design i'm kind of i'm kind of excited to see what that looks like and feels like if it feels sturdy we're going to find out and then you got t238 tracer unit daybreak I think this is going to be really look cool on the AK. Let's go ahead and get this out the box. Um, it looks like you have screws and an Allen key here. Oh, and we have our adapters. Yes, uh, I think this is something I will mention in the T238 Blue Can uh, uh, long-term review. But it is for Nerf, Gel Ball, and Airsoft. So. It comes with a, I believe, a 19 to 22 mil adapter and a 14 millimeter adapter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. And it comes with uh, multiple adapters so you can use them uh, in whatever variety, uh, whatever you want to do. There is a grub screw inside the suppressor, if I'm not mistaken, because that's how the T238 was. That allows you to um, keep the, the adapter tightly fit. Yeah, very well packaged. Like, you, oh my God, I think that's a heft to it. Uh, oh yeah, we have a, a very short USB-C charging cable. That just adds to the myriad of charging cables that I have. Um, yeah, okay, so. It feels, it feels like a carbon, a carbon fiber plating on here with uh, aluminum body. So that's what it feels like. Carbon fiber plating, let me see if I can have this is magnetic, so yeah, aluminum body, carbon fiber plating. Really, it's lo it looks really nice. So that's what it. That's, that's kind of what you're getting there. Has on there a T238 tracer unit, chrono version, daybreak. This thing looks really nice. Um, that's what it looks like on the inside, going going towards that. Uh, we're going to need to. We're going to need to install. All right, we got the uh, product manual. You're getting everything you need in product manual. Oh my, oh my good lord! It is in a, uh, it's an Asian. That's nice. It's nice. So you're getting a good product manual. Here you go. Just kind of flip through that. I can't recognize that. If you can recognize that, just let me know what it is in the, in the comments. But uh, it would be cool to have like French on here, or maybe Arabic or whatever, you know, for us Moroccans. Anyway, um, and for guys that know that kind of stuff. So the tracer unit. Let's initially try it just to see. I don't want to, we're not going to throw nothing through it just yet. I could just drop some BBs through it and see how it works. But this is supposed to work. Tracer only, tracer muzzle flash, muzzle flash only. But it has the RGB element and it's all, it's supposed to be digitally, let's just turn it on. Yes, it's digitally understood. So you do have your chronograph here. The battery is very, very low. So we're not even going to test it right now. But we have the chronograph. Let's see what else we got in here. It'll give us our record. Chrono on. We can always turn the chrono off. Yeah, so we can turn the chrono off if we want to. So if we just want to run it as a tracer, 
we can turn it off. If I want to chrono my guns and check my guns, see what they're shooting at, I can always do that there, set my BB weight and go for it so I can see what my consistency is if I'm getting consistencies, which is great because the team, Nick was like, hey, we need a team chronograph. I'm like, hey, well, uh, T238 is sitting in their daybreak chaser, so that could work, you know what I mean? And we can use that to chronograph our, our stuff when we're not around a chronograph. Um, so you do have the tracer unit there as you see you can turn the tracer on you can also turn the RGB on right now I think it's on blue mode uh, You have DIA you have the WGT which is going to be your weight uh, Your diameter is six mil so you can swap the diameter up like you're in jail ball or nerf You can swap the diameter up uh, your weight 2.5. I'm actually going to Set that to 2.8 for myself or 0 0.28, 2.5, 0 0.28 for myself. All right, so I have set to 2.28 for myself. And then you have your power. So it'll turn off, I believe that's to turn off after 20 minutes of not being in use. That's when it'll auto power off. So right now it's on 20 minutes. And then it just goes, then you could click on the unit and it will kind of go through what you have here to tell you what you're running, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go ahead and back out all of that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how that is. We're gonna turn this off right now. So we're powering that off. I do like that element. Um, this particular tracer unit is going to be roughly anywhere between $100 and $130, depending on where you buy it from. I think I paid $50 for the, for the blue can. 100% worth it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut the hell up. I'm going to put on the 14 mil adapter I want to see what it looks like on the Norwich crystal. So yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, then that's what it looks like on the Norwich. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is high. Woo! All right, so when I'm doing like piss only gameplays, I'll probably drop this on the Norwich and run this like this this is extremely hot so that's what it'll look like on a pistol so in comparison to let's bring out the t238 blue can so it's uh it's roughly the same size as the t38 blue can just maybe an inch longer uh from my perspective so it's gonna it's gonna fit really nice on the ak I always like during the daytime when I'm playing I always run the simulated muzzle flash if I'm running the T238 right I, I always do that because it's just so intimidating on the receiving game like even in the daytime it's so bright you know what I mean like I've had guys like back up and get scared you know what I'm saying and like stopping the tracks I had my boy Nick is like he said he saw he's like ooh ah muzzle flash he and so much that he bought his own you know what I'm saying like so one thing I can say is that having that Spitfire unit with that muzzle flash is a solid, uh, a solid maneuver to add realism to your gameplay. Um, and then when you're running um, tracer BBs in low light, no light conditions, you have a tracer unit that can do all of that. So overall, I'm heavily impressed by this particular unit. Um, like I said, you will get an actual demonstration in gameplay later on. We actually take it out to use it. So if you guys want to see that, then the only thing that you can do right now is basically hit the subscribe button. That right there is the T238 Blue uh, Daybreak Tracer Unit with an active chronograph. So if you want to chrono your weapons, you can do that. Uh, it was suggested to run it on things like sub guns, like Chris Vectors and PCC builds and the whole nine. I like this a lot. Um, can't be, uh, man, I'm going to praise T238 100%. This is a hands down first impression. 10 out of 10 build quality the digital features of, of the of the chronograph and i could digitally set it i could turn the chrono off so it's not so the chrono is not wasting battery life i can do everything i need to do there um and it looks like the charging port, port is right here beautiful so the charging port is easy access it's not like the t30 blue can blue can where i have to actually take out the full tracer unit out the blue can and then charge it this is all intricately, integrally, or integrally built into one solid, simple design. I can't wait to get on the field and play with it.